This knife is blank cutting plastic. Used for, used to. Both have the same meaning. The only difference is for comes with an ing form, but to comes with the base verb without ing. Here we have cutting with ing, so the answer is used for. This knife is used for cutting plastic. And you can say to cut plastic. The pen is used for writing, ing, or to write the base verb. I might blank late today. I have a lot of work. Be being to be. Might is a modal verb. May, might, can, could, will, would, must, should. These are all modal verbs and they're followed by the base verb. Play, not playing go not to go visit not visited these are the base verbs which we use after the modal verbs so the answer here is b not being not to be you answer this one we should blank up early in the morning get to get getting remember that should is a modal verb what's the answer then let me know in the comments i'm bored I don't have blank to do, nothing, anything. We use nothing in positive sentences, but we use anything in negative sentences with not in it. Here we have don't means do not, so the sentence is negative, so we use anything here. I'm bored, I don't have anything to do. I'm hungry, but I have blank to eat, nothing, anything, have. So the sentence is positive, so we use nothing here. I have nothing to eat. You can say, I don't know anything about this. Don't, negative, so we use anything. And you can use nothing here by saying, I know nothing about this. Look, no, positive, so we use nothing. Clear, guys? Anything in negative, nothing in positive. And they give the same meaning. You answer this one. It's dark. I can't see blank, nothing or anything, can, negative, follow this rule and answer. I can't find the pen, blank, I bought yesterday, who, that, where. We use who after a person, that after a person or a thing, where after a place. The pen is not a person and not a place, the pen is a thing, so we use that. I can't find the pen, that I bought yesterday. And we can also use which here. I can't find the pen which I bought yesterday. This is the hospital blank I was born. When, which, where. We use when after time, which after a thing, where after a place. The hospital is a place, right? So we use where here. This is the hospital where I was born. You answer this one. I remember the day, blank, we first met. When, which, where. The day is time. So what do we use here after time? Let me know in the comments. She, blank, nice. She seems nice or she seems like nice. What's the difference? Listen, guys. The verbs feel, smell, taste, sound, look, seem. Normally, they're followed by an adjective like you look tired, or it sounds good, or she seems happy. But sometimes they're followed by like plus a noun. And a noun is the name of something, like a boy, a dog, a cat, and a doctor, and so on. So seems alone needs an adjective, and seems like needs a noun. What is this nice? An adjective, so seems is the answer. She seems nice this cloud blank a cat looks or looks like again looks is followed by an adjective and looks like is followed by a noun a cat is a noun it's a name of something so this is the answer this cloud looks like a cat this fish blank salty tastes tastes like mm -hmm. tastes plus adjective Tastes like plus a noun, salty is an adjective, so tastes. This fish 
tastes salty. Thank you for watching.